it up on you. All right, let's get started. Let my ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gordon C. Thurman. I am the president of the Board of Directors for Circle Women's Fire. And on behalf of the Board of Directors and, uh, and the Full Circle Women's Fire, we'd like to welcome you here tonight. We're very excited to begin our uh, third season here, our fifth concert. And, uh, is it huh? Close to you. And there we go. Back. Anyways, and um, we'd like to thank everybody here, especially the donors. Uh, here we have the uh, donors to choir, we a uh, non-profit choir, and we rely on the kindness of uh, the generous donations uh, from, uh, from our donors here. We have five of our good donors here, we're quite thankful for them. And um, we're looking for a very exciting year. Um, we've already been very busy, we've already performed for the Sojourners. I'll shout. <laughs> Anyways, we, uh, we, uh, we, my, there we go. We, uh, had, um, go ahead. Hello, here we go. Here we go. Anyways, we were very excited to perform at the So Generous Center and one of the graduations at our second time for doing that. And, uh, because community involvement is very important for a part of our, we would like to reach out and support the choir and the night. Anyways, um, I'm told we need the choir ready to come in, so I want you to welcome you here. And I'll let it march, bring uh, over your Thank you. Thank you. My name is Robert Gray. I'm one of the singers. <laughs> so just shout. Okay, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, just shout. <laughs> okay, my name is Mara Gray. I'm one of the singers here. And I just had a couple of uh, reminders for you before we start. Um, one thing is the front door is all closed off because of a leak, so please don't try to leave the church that way. It's, it's very wet over there and the door is physically taped off. If you need to use a ramp, uh, there is a ramp here at the front door, so um, please enter and exit through the, the actual back of the church. We'd appreciate that and I think you will too. At this point, please also double check your cell phones. If you could just pull them out, take a look at them and <coughs> turn them off. Uh, even if you are uh, texting how wonderful we are, we'd like to have the cell phones off and, uh, and we will um, hope to not hear them um, while we're singing and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, I think we're ready to start and at this point I'd like to introduce you to and ask you to welcome please the Full Circle Women's Choir under the artistic direction of Kim McCreary. braving the rain and joining us tonight. Um, we, uh, I'm sure Marge mentioned, we have a little Noah's Ark moment going on over here. And we had an elaborate processional planned for you and, and of course couldn't, no, I'm just kidding. We were just going to walk in up the sides, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure out however we need to do it. So please do be very careful tonight. Uh, we don't want any accidents happening. So thank you again for joining us and I hope you enjoy the concert.
try it. <laughs> no, no. I will not talk in that microphone, but we are recording this evening, so we do need it doesn't distort in the recording, so but the church is getting a new sound system very soon, so we're excited about that. <laughs> Again, welcome tonight. I want to talk to you just a little bit about the theme that we're trying to uh, present here. What we wanted to do with this holiday concert was capture that moment, that just before moment, that each of the winter uh, holidays uh, has as a part of, of the activity and the event that happened. The moment in Hanukkah, where they were waiting through the night to see if the oil would last through the night. The moment right before the Christ child is born. The moment before the sun returns in the winter solstice. And so that's what hush represents for us, is that moment of expectation, that excited, anxious stillness that happens, and that we experience whether we celebrate uh, Hanukkah, uh, winter solstice, Christmas, or don't celebrate at all. We feel it. It permeates our culture and we feel it. Um, we are wanting to uh, em have us embrace that tonight. Um, the next piece that we're going to do is a Gloria, an arrangement of a Gloria. It's a delightful piece by the Hungarian composer uh, Georgi Orban. Thank you. 
Thank you. I do want to mention that tonight's uh, concert is being videotaped uh, by, uh, on behalf of Don Ashley in memory of his mother, Verna Ashley. And we thank Don for doing that. Uh, now, I would like us to enter into the period of expectation uh, with the Psalm Trilogy by the Canadian composer Sruel Irving Glick. The first movement of this trilogy is Psalm 92. And he has set this psalm in a very meditative and contemplative mood. And the psalmist proclaims how good it is to sing praises to your kindness, O God. And this piece will be performed first in Hebrew, and then the text restated entirely in uh, English. The second movement, Psalm 47, is a dance that encourages all the nation to join hands, blow the ram's horn, and sing praises to God with joy. And this will be performed entirely in Hebrew. The third movement is one of the most beautiful settings of Psalm 23 that I think I've ever heard. Absolutely stunning. And it will all be performed in English. I would ask that you hold your applause, please, until the end of the movement.
thank you very much. Before we uh, go on, I'd like to introduce our, our new accompanist. She's new with us this season, Connie Yarmark. Would you welcome her, please? I also would like to take a moment to recognize our concert sponsor, uh, Salon Estique, and I believe uh, one of their owners is here, Cheryl. Would you stand, please, and we might recognize her. Cheryl Finn. Cheryl, along with uh, her two business partners, owns Salon Estique, uh, which is a women-owned business here in central Phoenix, and they've been here for over 20 years. Uh, they've been named one of the top 200 salons in the nation by Salon Today magazine, and they are a full-service salon for women and men, so guys, we're not leaving you out. Um, they believe very strongly in uh, women uh, doing for themselves and in women supporting women. Uh, which fits perfectly with our mission statement. Um, they have sponsored every one of our concerts since we began, except one. And uh, we thank them for that. Uh, tonight, as at every concert, we will be raffling off a gift basket that they have donated to us. This gift basket contains products and gift certificates for services, and it is valued at over $500. So for $5, a $5 ticket, you can take home this basket uh, for over $500. Also, at the reception tonight, if you don't win, and you are a first-time client, you've never been there before, you can pick up over in the reception hall at our reception uh, a ticket, uh, it's an invitation, for $20 off any service that you would like at the salon. So please pick up an invitation and check them out. You will not be sorry, I guarantee it. Um, and um, I would now like to introduce Brendan Mahoney. Brendan is uh, one of our former board members. He's now on our advisory board. And Brendan is the senior policy advisor for Mayor Greg Stanton of Phoenix. Brendan. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure I have a voice quite as booming as yours. <laughs> So um, the choir was formed because we thought that Phoenix was missing an all-female choir with, that performed art music with really, really high performance standards. And I think they do that incredibly well. <laughs> and, and we wanted the choir to reflect the past. Our uh, the women have been written out of history in so many ways, and they have been in music, too. And so the choir performs works that were written for women, not as an afterthought or rearranged for women, but intentionally written for women, or by composers, female composers that are long neglected. Uh, most people don't know that Mozart's sister, Nan, was a great composer, or Mendelssohn's sister, Fanny, was an amazing composer. And, and so we perform works from the historic past by women, about women, for women. We commissioned works, and last year we commissioned, performed the first original work written by, for us for, uh, by a female composer. They get the leftovers when it comes to commissions, and we want to change that. And we, we've been determined to be socially engaged. We uh, support the Phoenix Girls Choir, which is like the girls' basketball team in 1960. They don't get anything <laughs> like that, really. So we want to change that. But our overarching theme in all of this was to be not just an organization that provides incredible quality of music, but to be socially engaged and, and try to make a difference for women. And so now we've begun discussions with Arizona Women's Education Employment, AWE, to start working to place women who've been down and out in the choir to, to help build their self-esteem and to perform at their events to help them raise money. We've performed at Sojourners to help domestic violence shelters. We performed at World AIDS Day. And there's more to come. And we do that on the smallest, slimmest budget. Because we were determined not to get caught up in the fundraising crap of spending all of our time raising money and not paying attention to the society. So that's where you come in in your envelopes. In your programs, there are envelopes. No contribution is too small would be much appreciated, and that will allow this incredible choir to continue singing and to help women in our society. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda.
I just, uh, just one thing. Brendan had mentioned the, the, the envelopes were in your program. They are not. They were in the pews. We laid them in the pews. So if you didn't get one and you don't be shy about asking your neighbor, I'm sure they'll, uh, you can fight them for it, okay? Because I'm sure everybody's going to want to put something in that envelope, right? Okay. Um, we're going to uh, end this first half with a delightful uh, English carol, Tomorrow Shall Be My Dancing Day. Thank you.